Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. Today, we are discussing the Breitling Premier B01 Chronograph 42, part of the Premier collection launched in late 2018. It harks back to the original Breitling Premier of the 1940s. This is a elegantly vintage-inspired watch that is nonetheless very modern in its tech and spec. So it's 42 millimeters in diameter, which is a very modern size, 14 millimeters thick from lug tip to lug tip. The case alone is 49.8 millimeters, end link to end link. Total distance across the wrist is 53.4 millimeters with a 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll pop open the clasp and take a look at the watch on my wrist of 16 centimeters circumference. So my wrist is 16 centimeters circumference and it's also flat across the top. It's an oval wrist. I would recommend this watch for a wrist no smaller than mine. As you can see that with the end links of the bracelet, it really does push out to the edge of my wrist. It's not over the edge, but if you had a smaller wrist, there might be some proportional issues here. Now it's not super thick, nor is it super thin. It'll fit underneath most shirt cuffs and all jacket cuffs. A good looking watch with a real feel of solidity to it you can see it has an extremely handsome seven link bracelet conforming end link to mate it to the case without an unsightly gap or asymmetries. There's a little bit of a taper to the bracelet. You can see that the links are alternately satinated and polished. Outer faces are satinated. You can see removable links fixed in place using screws. So if you have a jeweler's screwdriver, you can size this one at home. Breitling also knows how to equip a bracelet. You can see calculated gaps on the underside to better vent the wrist, as well as avoid pinching skin or pulling hair. Now, Breitling has upgraded its clasp over the last few years. You can see one of the upgrades is that we have a much thicker gauge steel clamshell, and the clamshell is also held on using a screw. So over time, if the tolerance of this component ever drops due to wear and tear, it can actually be replaced in order to restore the original solidity and integrity of the clasp and bracelet system. Now internally, you can see that there is a set of divots. This is a little bit like a Rolex bracelet. You've got four sets of divots, and then you can use your strap tool, because there is a spring bar in there, to change the anchoring point of the bracelet inside the clasp so you can move it in and out to fine tune the fit. Externally, it's principally of satin finish for a muted look. You can see the Breitling B no longer has wings as the current Breitling company wants you to think of it as a land, sea, and air sports watch company, not just air. The case is mid-century inspired blended lugs that have a lovely wraparound bevel. They're polished on their bevel as well as their hood, satinated around the flank, and you can see that there are those mid-century modern late art deco strakes or gadroons in the side. We have a bezel with a couple of different steps. There's a vertical segment a conical segment, a flange, and then we have a sapphire with a dramatically boxed camber to it to look like a 1940s or 1950s plexiglass. We have a wonderfully knurled crown that's a pleasure to grip. It too is Breitling branded. We have pushers that are vintage inspired, rectangular, but the outer faces are satinated and then the bevels and the sides, you can see from every angle, they are polished for contrast. We have that lovely plexi-like domed crystal, the sapphire there. We have an inverse panda dial with a silver on black, all in a matte finish to resist glare. Let's real quick just do a loom shot here so you guys understand that these premieres have loomed hands, but only loomed hands. And then we've got a date down at six o'clock, and the date wheel is the same color as the dial. That's nice to see. Not all watch brands get that right. Double check to see if we're in the date change danger zone there or not. You can see there's a hacking or stop seconds function. There's also a quick set so you can rapidly cycle the date. And they sweated the details. As you can see, the watch features a little bit of a step to its outer dial that adds another focal plane. And then the registers themselves are sunken into the dial. The watch features that B bereft of wings again. And we have a crisp vertical clutch system with a column wheel for the chronos. Thanks to the vertical clutch, there's no extraneous jump or extra movement when you start the chronograph seconds hand. That's the advantage of a vertical clutch. That you can leave the chrono running full time with no additional wear and tear to the watch. The column wheel makes for exemplary, exemplary feel. You can really 
feel how good this column wheel is. You can also hear it. And although this watch movement wasn't originally developed for display case back, you can actually see the column wheel through the reverse of the watch. That crenellated column wheel making for a crisp actuation. This is the traditional way the Breitling chronographs have been made for eons. Their wrist chronographs made since the first quarter of the 20th century using that column wheel architecture. Now I say the B01 movement was not originally designed for display case backs, and that's true. When it bowed in 2009 on the chronomat, it was not designed for display case back, which is unfortunate because it's always been a very good looking chronograph movement. You've got automatic winding, a 70 hour power reserve, 41 pivot joules, a 4 hertz beat rate, and it is a five position adjusted COSC Swiss chronometer. It's mechanically but handsomely finished, and these are known to run very reliably and precisely. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details of this Breitling Premier chronograph.